Hey man, how you doing? We're gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna make this video very conversational as if you and me were sitting together in a room talking about respawnables. So this is going to be my official review of the monkey staff weapon, but I just wanna slow things down. I'm gonna chill out with my commentary because I've got some things on my mind, some stuff on my shoulders that I would like to get off and talk to you about. Uh, one reason people are drawn to me somewhat is, and, and a lot of people will back me up when I say this, is I always share my opinion and my true feelings about a game. Um, I can't be bought off by, you know, anybody giving me free stuff in a game or doing this or that. I will always tell my viewers how I truly feel. I think that's so important because as soon as I don't do that, I lose credibility and you guys can't trust me anymore. And I want to keep that trust high. So with that being said, um, at points of time in my YouTube career, I've been very harsh on this game, and I have to give credit where credit is due. So, those of you who are going to call me a sellout for what I'm about to say, I needed to prequel that so you understand I'm being 100% completely honest. Digital Legends has absolutely killed it. They have nailed, they have absolutely nailed the past couple events they have done on the game. The weapons they are releasing, guys, are really good weapons that are completely balanced. This event, all the weapons you could unlock for free without spending money. That's awesome. We know there's been many events where they charge for weapons. All the weapons you could unlock for free. Both weapons in this event are very good. And by the way, I'm going to get to the official review. So just enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to show various kill streaks in the background. I'll get to that in a second. But if we think about the course that Digital Legends has been on, um, I think at times they release things and they didn't truly understand how overpowered certain weapons were. I don't think they got together a room and said, what's the most overpowered weapon we can make? Let's make it and ha ha ha. No, I think, I think a lot of times developers make something and they don't truly understand how it's going to work until it goes live and players start using it and then they figure out how to use it certain ways and then they learn it's overpowered. And I'm just, just kind of surprise the game lately has been really good the events have been really good they've been doable they've been easy enough that anybody who wants to can beat the event that's pretty cool and then the weapons they're releasing are very balanced fun weapons good weapons to play with um and unique weapons that are very different i, I i'm i'm surprised and i just want to give them credit where credit's due because a lot of people hate on respawnables um the other thing is now that I'm playing all these other games on my channel, I'm getting a lot of subscribers coming for different games. And then a lot of people start playing Respawnables because they see how fun this game is. And I gotta say, I play a lot of shooters, and I'm continually drawn back to Respawnables. It's very smooth, it's fast, it's basically it's basically everything you would want in a shooter. Like, I don't know guys, it's, it's a good freaking game. Like, it really is. This is a good game. I wouldn't have done like 130 videos and dedicated like three years of my life to a game that wasn't good. And I think we forget that sometimes because we get frustrated with the fact that there hasn't been a new map or we get frustrated with the fact that there's no uh, new weapons or excuse me that we get frustrated. Sorry, I'm doing this in one take, so I'm going to I'm going to screw up a little bit. Um, we get frustrated with the fact that there's overpowered weapons, overpowered this or that. You know what? That that's every game. There's there's stuff like that in every game. And for all intents and purposes, this is a great game and continues to be one of my most favorite games to play. It's so smooth gameplay. It's fun. Um, it's just a really good game. The graphics are awesome. I love the cartoony feel. It's fast-paced, too. Like, you know, Critical Ops is a great game, but it's not fast-paced. Like, it's boring compared to this game. I mean, it's competitive, it's balanced, but this game's just exciting all the time. There's always something going on, so um, that's my opinion. Now, real quick, we'll get on to the Monkey Staff review. I just wanted to get, my, get that off my chest. Monkey Staff, I really like this weapon. A lot of you out there are saying, this weapon sucks, it's not good. It has nine rounds in the clip. That's a lot of rounds for this bazooka type thing. It almost sounds like a Star Wars laser cannon when you shoot it, the sound effect. And then the reload sounds really cool. It's the same sound as the ballistic knife when it reloads. It has absolutely no auto aim on this weapon. So you have to be good at aiming. If you're good at aiming, you're gonna like the weapon. It kills in two shots. If somebody has taken damage, or I believe if they're wearing no defense, correct me if I'm wrong, it kills in one shot. And I like it, especially at close range where you're kind of turning on the guy, you're coming around. It's easy to hit him because he's right there, so it's easy to get your crosshairs right on him. So I don't think this is a long-distance weapon. I think this is a close-range weapon, and that's 
kind of weird because when you look at it, you think, oh, this is a long range weapon. Long range, it's really hard to hit, guys, because one like little millimeter off to the left or right, and you're going to completely miss. But close range, it does really well. I like the weapon. I think it's worth it. Uh, tier 10 prize in the Chinese New Year, and uh, great event. I liked it. It was fun. So next up, I think next we're rolling out Easter event. We'll see what that one brings. And I, uh, I asked Digital Legends, continue to do what you're doing. Let's bring more balanced weapons to the game. Let's bring another great event for Easter and bring some... If we do bring new weapons, bring great balanced weapons. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for hanging with me. Take care. See ya.